Alrighty, welcome on back in. So have you ever been backstage at Music Hall or maybe behind the curtain at the Ensemble Theater? Well, you're actually going to be able to see the inner workings of Cincinnati's art scene on a new downtown walking tour. I am so excited about this. So we're joined here this morning with Kathy from Arts, uh, Arts Wave and Miranda from American Legacy Tours to tell us how we can take part in this very exciting venture. Kathy, I want to start with you. What was the genesis of this? How did this tour, this walking tour come to be? Well, as you know, American Legacy does more tours than anyone in the region. Sure. They do breweries, they do sports, they do haunted tours. And so their leader came to us and said, hey, Archwave, we've got to have an arts tour. Yeah. And then it was like, okay, what's the story? Right. So the story's really kind of cool because it starts back like a hundred years ago when Cincinnati was growing like New York. And at that point, we wanted to be the Paris of America. Well, what does that mean? Well, that means we had like some amazing people. The founder of Archwave, the task, gave their home, but they also like put in some money to say, hey, Cincinnati, fund your arts, and oh, by the way, we'll give you back all that money if it doesn't work. Right. And then we started to build things, and we build them big. And so then we have people like Mary Emery, who's working with Anna Sinton Taft, our, our founder, and then we have people like Maria Longworth, Bertha Bauer. They're figuring out really creative ways to keep a symphony going, to keep right. an, a wonderful uh, art museum going. Right. And they're doing that creatively. And there's just a lot of stories behind it. I love that it's a, a bunch of women as well. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's fantastic too. And Miranda, so I want to talk to you now about your part in it, right? Because I feel like Cincinnati is always at the top of the list. We see the USA Today and the like. They'll, they'll release things saying that, you know, Cincinnati is top 10, right, mm -hmm. in the nation in terms of those the, keeping the arts alive. So talk to me about how you guys are able to really access that via a walking tour. What's amazing is, uh, so American Legacy Tours, we, uh, this was why it's such an incredible collaboration. We focus on um, promoting like the historical, uh, like the history of the city, and then Artswave is so focused on the innovation of the city. So together, we sort of lay the foundation of how it came to be, and then we get to talk about how it's going. For example, I bet you didn't know this, Jordan, we are the 11th on, in, the, in the rank of cities yeah. in America. We are 11th for the most vibrant art city. Wow. And we're the Incredible. 30th largest city. Uh, wow, so I mean, that, yeah. that again, and so, right now we're taking a look at some video of the walking tour itself. Now we only have like 45 seconds, so I want to punch out where people can figure out more about this. When you guys are ho uh, holding these tours as well. So yeah. Right now you can do any private tour anytime you want, but okay. Saturday mornings is when we do it. Okay. It depends on the day and the performances going on where you go in. The great, one of the greatest things I think, right, Kathy, is you end at the Emory Theatre, which is the new home for the Children's Theatre of Cincinnati, but you get to see it unrenovated and possibly full of ghosts. Uh, yes, but, yeah. there's a lot of haunted stuff too, right. so it's a little bit of mix. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Uh, one more time, where can people find out more information? They can go to the American Legacy site or they can go to the Archwave site for group tours. Either Beautiful. one. You'll get either way and you'll enjoy it. Great Perfect. holiday. Oh, absolutely. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you and everything that you're doing for the city. Alrighty, we're going to be right back right after this. Stick with us.